What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out this tip from turningpointmusic.net. Today, I want to do a tip on using Antares Autotune on electric bass, electric bass that I actually played. So check it out. Here I have a session I'm working on, and I, I have the bass a little bit louder than I would have it in the mix just for the sake of this tip, but let's take a listen. So there it is. I think it sounds okay. It's just I can the the I can hear the the pitch wo wobble a little bit, especially on these low low C sharps on this guy. So just on a whim, I tried out auto tune. And just if you want to see the EQ, I'm just rolling some of the high out of there. So let's grab auto tune. This track happens to be in C sharp minor. So I'm going to grab, well, C sharp, D flat, same thing. I'm going to leave it on chromatic. Now, this, because we're leaving it on chromatic, it probably wouldn't even matter had I not, had we, I not changed this, but for the sake of it, why not? So this is important here under input type, what do you know, bass instrument. Now, retune speed, I usually crank down just a little bit to start with, and we'll come back to that. Now, pitch amount, I want to crank all the way up. Now, amplitude and format amount, I feel like you should do in context. So we'll do that in just a second. If you don't hear a difference, then it doesn't matter in, in the context of whatever you're doing. I do. I think this sounds better with the format down at zero, so I'll leave it there and let's listen to Amplitude and see what we think. I personally like this better off as well, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. Now let's come back to retune speed and listen to that in context. For me, with retune speed, it's, it depends, of course, on the source material, whatever I'm working with, but I know I don't want it to sound like the Black Eyed Peas and get that over-affected computer-y sort of sound. So with something like this with electric bass, I want to get it sort of as fast as I can get it without it sounding too obvious. But of course, whatever, whatever you're working with is going to define where you put that. So... That's the tip. Uh, it's something that I think worked really well in this case for making the bass, the foundation of the track, sound a lot more solid. So try it out. I hope you dig it.